You might remember when I first got this bike, it had two pipes that looked a bit like a, a wood burning stove pipe that goes through the ceiling and part of one side was missing. So that came off virtually straight away. Uh, I put this on, which is a shorty pipe. Yeah, two shorty pipes on both sides, just while I was getting the bike going. This came off really the original, the K0 that I did in the previous series of videos. Um, it's quite a nice sounding exhaust, but there's a number of issues with it. One is it's so short that it doesn't look like you've got an exhaust. Secondly, because it's short, there isn't a bracket that stops the center stand banging against the chain. So you've got to make a, a bracket for that. Anyway, with the K0, I replaced it with the Delcovic and I really, really liked the Delcovic. So I've managed to get myself another one. This time though, I've got one that's got the straight pipe coming out, not the reverse, not the, the sort of the conical one that I had on the previous bike. But I know it's gonna sound just as good. So my intention is take this exhaust off, Fit my nice shiny Delcovic which I've got and let's go riding. Before I show you my shiny new Delcovic in all of its glory I'm just going to whip this old one off. So just need to undo the clamps and slip them down and then there's only one bolt on either side that actually supports the pipes then hopefully it'll come off easily enough. Now I've undone the clamps, there's just these that connect it to the frame rail and the bottom frame rail. Undo them and it should be loose, this needs to be taken off. Typically the nuts and the, uh, the bolt end are so close to the exhaust and the frame rail that I'm really struggling to get a spanner on either of them. I remember having this problem. Well, at least it's loose. clamps undone and the uh, mounting bolt underneath undone so in principle it should be loose it's got exhaust assembly paste which is probably set like concrete now with this type of exhaust the two outside ones actually go over the two middle ones so I'm going to keep giving it a tap move around give it a bang on the end it looks a bit sketchy and what I don't want to do is damage the cylinder barrels like somebody did on the other side so let's give it a bit of tapping and see what happens. Tap it, unwrap it. So I'm going to use a piece of wood on bits that might get damaged. Where I was hitting it with the hammer before is actually on bushes that uh, go inside the clamps. And it's a case of keep giving it a little tap here and there, work your way around and eventually it should come free. There you go, it's definitely on its way off. Right, a bit of leverage maybe, it's wiggling, so sometimes it works to your advantage. Oh yes. And typically, the bolt hangs on for grim death, even though it's got nothing to hang on to. make sure we get all the old assembly paste off otherwise it's a devil's own job to get the new pipes on right 
really excited to get this on. It wasn't brand new, but it was off a bike that had hardly been used. And I can see that that's true because only some of them have still got the numbers on so you know which one they're for. I remember from last time, it's a bit fiddly working out which one's for which cylinder, but once you've got it, you can work out where this pipe goes and it's a, it, it all slots together. should get them in roughly the right position when I get them on. So I'll number them now. As I mentioned, not every pipe was numbered. So the ones that were numbered I've put on, I've also decided to just position the other ones so that I can see how they would fit onto here. I'm just gonna put the numbers on them in a place that's underneath the clamps. It will very likely burn off, but if it doesn't, it might be there to help me in the future, but it'll certainly help me this time. Starting at that end, it's one to four. Right, I'll whip them off, put a little bit of exhaust assembly paste on, put the clamp back on, push them back on, and put the clamps on loosely so I can move them about while I put the rest of it on. a bit of a faff getting these to line up. They should be pretty equal at the end with an equal spacing around to go into that and you, you'll have to keep moving them a little bit and just when you think you're about to give up it'll all slot into place. So once you've managed to persuade these into this in reasonable order you need to knock it forward so you can get the springs on and as you can see that's quite a big gap there now, the trouble is when you're knocking it forward it'll want to fall off the uh, exhaust ports at the front so you've got to do a bit of a, a juggling act especially if you're doing it on your own
now I've got it most of the way on I'm going to tighten these so I don't keep knocking them off um, you don't want to do this too soon because it really has got to jiggle about underneath and I may end up having to loosen them again and jiggle again but we'll see Bitter experience tells me that even though you think you're getting there, something will just be slightly out. So I'm going to try the end pipe now and the bracket that holds it to the frame and just see how much wriggle room I've got. I've still got to get those springs on, which honestly, Schwarzenegger did a lot of training with springs, but not like these ones. the bike over. Now that other one there, a treat, apart from I need to move the whole lot across a bit. So I have to slacken it off and do that. Move it across, get this behind, put a bolt through. Right, just so it doesn't keep rattling around, I'll just nip it up. Not too tight because I'm going to have to move everything. Well, it'll line up, but it won't actually go up high enough. Now, I must admit, I see a lot of these Delkovics with a little bit of an extra bracket in here, which I might end up doing. But first of all, let's see if I can move it out and get it to here. Right, that looks like it can get it in place. And that little bit that hangs down, that's actually to stop your centre stand from clanking up against the uh, swing arm. I am intending to put rear foot rests on, but at the moment this nifty little spacer came actually with the fittings that I've got. And that's it. It's nicely in there. And I can fit that nowhere near there. Oh, oh, that'd be an issue. But if I push the spacer out with a bit of luck, I should be able to waggle it in. Oh, yes. That's gone into the hole nicely. Just to hold it for now. Right, now to put the springs on. I still think I've perhaps got to go some way with this, but let's give one of them a go and see what happens. convinced that that's actually should be that long but hey looks okay I'm not gonna get that
that was easy. I just make it look hard. Nip everything up now and it's on. That was actually a bit easier when I put the, the one I put on the last bike. Although I made it look hard, it's always a struggle. You're always jiggling and moving things around and then tighten everything up at the end. Uh, but hey, all's well that ends well. I realised that it couldn't sit at the outside so what I've done is I've made a little bracket for it to sit on the inside. I've seen this before with Delcovix to make them fit and maybe it's just because I've never ever bought a new one and maybe you do get the right brackets if you do buy you know the brand new one uh, but hey this works. video why not subscribe or give us a thumbs up watch out for the next one because hopefully you'll see this beast on the road <laughs>